Hi everyone, it's Laura and it's time for my monthly favorites. I hope you've had a great month. I was over with Danielle at Ulta about a week ago and they had a Bare Minerals event. I thought that would be fun to go and for us to get made over and maybe try out a few of their new products and see if there was anything we really liked. But we had a little disaster at the beginning of the event, but it all worked out in the end. Uh, when I first got there, the lady that was making up my face, she was really sweet. I felt really bad for her about what happened, but she said, well, let me cleanse your face before we start. And I didn't have any makeup on. I left the house with nothing on my face. And so she went over my face with a wipe from Purity. And I'm telling you, within seconds, my face was on fire. And I didn't say anything to her. I thought, well, maybe this just sort of has one of those cooling effects. But all of a sudden, the look on her face was like deer in the headlights. She had a scared look on her face. She goes, your face is very, very red. And I looked at Danielle, and Danielle looked at me like this. And... I said, oh no, I think this is another thing like what happened to me before with those yes wipes. I'll link that video below if you want to hear that, what happened with that. But my face just turned as red as a beet. She ran to the back, wet a towel, was pressing a cool compress on my face, and it did start to simmer down. But something in those purity wipes really set me off. I mean, I look like a tomato. It took about an hour for it to calm down. But she did the makeover anyway, even with my red tomato face. And I found some products I loved. And the first one, I bought two things. I bought this Complexion Rescue. It is a tinted hydrating gel cream. Now you can use this alone, but what she did was she paired it on me with this Bare Pro. Now this is a powder, but it's a powder that's a foundation on its own too. So what I've been doing is doing my um, way that I do my foundation. I press this powder on first. I love that it has a magnetic closure too. I like the packaging on this. But I take my big poof and sort of press the powder on my face first, which I get a lot of coverage from that. And then I use about the size of a dime of this Complexion Rescue and it just finishes everything off so beautifully. And then I just go on top of it with a little powder on my nose. and. I think it is a beautiful look. It feels so great on my skin. It has a luminosity to it, but not in a way that looks fake. It looks really like my skin looks healthy. I'm super excited about this product. I think it's fairly new, and if you're looking for something for your skin that will make it look youthful and healthy, I think this is fantastic. I want to tell you about some lipsticks I've been trying out that I really like. The first one is this new one from CoverGirl called Melting Pout. I'm wearing this one right now and I just love it. It's a dupe, if you want to call it, for the Too Faced Melted. It's set up in the same way. It's got the sponge on the end and the squeeze tube. I like it better than the Too Faced. I have tried the Melted Lipstick, but I actually think this is a superior product. I like the way it goes on a little more smoothly. It lasts a long time. It's not real sticky. They had some very interesting shades. They weren't, there weren't a lot of everyday shades or I wear to work kind of shades. But this one, 110, is one of those very wearable shades. I don't know how much it shows up on camera in real life. I think this is a beautiful color. I hope in this watch you'll be able to see better how pretty it is. But it's just a very soft, sort of dusty pink. So if you like that kind of color, I think you'll enjoy this. Now Maybelline also came out with these Vivid Hot Lacquers. I like this, but I have to, it comes with a warning. It's very sticky on the lips. So if that bothers you, I don't think you'll like this. This is a typical doe foot applicator. I think it's very easy to apply. I bought a nude shade just because, again, I thought that was the most wearable for me for work and just going out. And I've really been into the nudes lately and doing a little bit more with my eyes. So I like it. It's beautiful, the shade I bought, but again, it's really sticky, and I think a lot of women wouldn't be too happy with that. 
Now the third lip product, I every once in a while I'll really look through the Ulta line at their stores and see if there's something that I think is stand out. And I was swatching a lot of the lipsticks and I found this one and I thought it was just beautiful. It's their lip crayon and this shade is called Prom Night. And I was looking for something with a little luminosity to it that I could put in the center of the lips. I've really been playing around with adding multiple lip products on my lips to make them look smooth and for the color to last a long time. I've been trying some techniques out and I really like this shade for the middle of the lips. But the lipstick itself is a great quality. I think it was around $8 and I think if you're looking for some really beautiful shades of lipstick, the Ulta line has a lot to offer. I really love sitting in the tub for relaxation, but a lot of the products that are out have so many different chemicals in them, I'm not a real fan of them. But I found this one from Shea Moisture and I love it. And it's a multitask kind of product. It's for the bath, for your body as an oil or a massage oil. And this is also gluten, has gluten-free vitamin E in it. So for those of you that are allergic to gluten, you might want to check this product out and read all the ingredients and see if it would work for you. I'm not allergic to gluten that I know of. So, but I bought this partially because of the scent. The scent is absolutely amazing. It is um, coconut and hibiscus. I love this to use in place of perfume. I'm allergic to some perfumes. The ones that I got from Octoly actually don't seem to bother me, but certain perfumes really will. So sometimes I just like putting on an oil that has the perfume already in it. And this is awesome. I bought it over at Walmart. It keeps your skin really moisturized. And like I said, what I love is you can just pour some in your bath or put it on your skin. And it has very healthy ingredients in it that I think everyone would enjoy. Today I'm wearing something called a Sleevey Wonder, and I just love this. I heard about it from my friend here on YouTube, Lori. She has a channel called Pride in Photos Beauty Channel, and I just love Lori, and she was talking about how great this was for making your arms look beautiful, and also if a shirt or a dress is too low to wear it so that you can cover up where it dips too low. You can put the sleevey wonder on backwards like I'm wearing today so that you have coverage here in the chest. Or if you want it to dip down, you wear it the other way and it just hooks in the front like a bra. I love this. Now I ordered it in an extra small and most shirts I wear in extra small and I feel it was very true to size. Uh, at first when I put it on it did feel tight, but now that I've worn it a couple of times it feels very comfortable. I love it because I was not wearing this shirt. It was sitting in my closet because it was cut too low. If I bent down my bra would show and so I just stopped wearing the shirt. But now I'm wearing it all the time because I love this. I'm sure uh, I'm going to try it out with other tops I have too. It'll work great. But I ordered it online. I'll put the link. Um, all of the things I talked about today I purchased myself. Nothing was sent to me. I ordered this actually not from the company but from Amazon because I found one on Prime Shipping that I could get in a couple of days. But I love it. It comes in solid colors too and in colors like white and red. So check out their site because on their site there's lots of other offerings. I like the three-quarter sleeve, but they had different, they had shorter sleeve, they had some that fall off the shoulders, so they had a lot of different really neat ways to um, make your outfits work for you. So I think it's a great product, and thank you, Lori, for sharing that on your channel. Two other favorite channels I wanted to share with you. First is my friend Daphne. Now Daphne and I were friends. She watched my channel for a long time before she started hers. She started a few months ago and she is such a classy, beautiful lady. And she has been doing great tutorials on Audrey Hepburn and also Grace Kelly. And I just think in the world we live in now, you just don't see women with that kind of class. In the movies anymore. There are a few but not as not like these women and I just love hearing about them, seeing her tutorials. She does amazing videos so I hope you'll tune in to her channel 
and subscribe to her. And also my friend Mel. Mel's also a Floridian. Mel's Makeup Mayhem. Now Mel it does her videos every Monday and Monday is sort of the toughest day of the week and I always look forward to seeing her. She shares so many great products. She also shares my love of Marshalls. So if you like Marshalls, she is always showing finds that she gets there. But she's such a beautiful person on the inside now. I hope you'll go watch Mel's channel and subscribe because I know you'll love her and Daphne and Lori as much as I do. I hope in the comments you'll share your favorite Bare Minerals product if you've ever tried anything from Bare Minerals and also uh, maybe just your favorite product of the month or something you like to wear in the summer. I'm definitely paring down my makeup over the summer. I've been doing so much organizing in my house. There's been a lot of days I haven't worn makeup and sometimes that feels good too. Just to have a clean face and just chill out. So I hope you'll have a great rest of this month and thanks so much for watching and subscribing. I appreciate you.